Hey, how's it going everybody? John McLennan here. Hope you're having a great day and I've got an awesome lesson for you today. Today we're going to learn how to play San Jose by Freddie King. This is what we call a riff blues and it's an example of taking a riff through the 12 bar blues form. It's a lot of fun to do and it's a relatively simple idea that's pretty funky. I'm going to break it all down for you, all 12 bars, so you can play just like what I played in the intro. Before we get into the lesson though, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, I post brand new guitar lessons just like this one every single day on the channel. Also, I really appreciate you checking out the links down below. There's a free PDF that you can get that's all about soloing, as well as some exclusive blues training. So check that out and let's dive into today's lesson. Let's learn how to play San Jose by Freddie King. Now this is gonna be from the Just Pickin' album, and I'm gonna break down this main melody, or what we call the head, to this 12 bar blues progression. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. This is what I call a riff blues, and it's a great example of writing just a part and then taking it through the 12 bar blues progression. Now, sometimes in 12 bar blues, they will modify the riff, you know, the composer or whoever's playing to fit the changes, but this is kind of just slight modifications, but the basic idea is one riff that goes over all the chords of the blues. So this is a blues in the key of C, and we're gonna start off with this figure. Starts on beat two, a one, two, three, four, one. Now what we're doing is we're playing a double stop on eight and eight on the G and the B strings. And I'm just gonna push on that slightly just to kind of make it out of tune, give it that bluesy sound. Then I'm gonna play a little pentatonic, little what I call a seesaw back and forth. Where your finger's just playing here, third finger, then first finger, then back to the third finger. So it's 10, eight, 10, 10. So. One and two and three and four and. Then we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So that's, again, two double stops there with a little 10th uh, fret there and then a rest. And then we do this, it's a really cool riff. And basically it's the 10th fret of the A string and then the 8th fret of the D string to an open D. It's just such a great sound where you use open strings on the guitar. And then when you get to, after that open string, you get to this 10 on the D string, and then you're gonna play the 10th fret on the A string. So I use my third finger, and then to my second finger right above it, because I don't wanna jump like this. I wanna, see that? And then there's that finger. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and. Then you start again. So really, the pattern one time sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and. And then you start again. Two, three and four and one and two and three and four and. So we're gonna repeat that over and over and that's really the essence of this is just playing that riff through the blues. Now this is something I talk about and go into great detail in my blues guitar course that's gonna lay out exactly how to figure this out and how to sound like those blues pros. Now, now that we've learned this riff, we're gonna adjust just some slight modifications here. Now we're going to what we call the four chord in the blues, which is gonna be our F. So we're in the key of C with this tune and then we're gonna go to the F. And for the F, we're gonna play 
So it's the same exact riff, but instead of starting on beat two, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, three and, four and what I like to do is just mark the F note. So if you're playing this by yourself, this is gonna make you sound like you're moving through the chords of the blues. So I'll put that into context. One and Right here. Then back. So see that there? I just went back to that same riff. Then we're gonna play. So that's one and two, and then the little seesaw. This time we're gonna go. Just back and forth, 10, 8, 10, 8, 1, and Then we do that again, so that's over the 5 chord down to the 4. And then again, back to C. And then we end like this, 10, 10. And then a little triple stop here, 8, 8, 8 on the D, the G, and the B strings, and that's giving you this this sound of basically the Jimi Hendrix chord, you know, C7 sharp 9. So the last four bars go... So I'm going to play the whole thing from the top slowly so you can hear what it sounds like all together. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and... Four chord. Now I'm going to pick up the tempo a little bit. This is close to the recorded tempo, and I'm going to bring in a rhythm guitar. Here's what that sounds like. Have fun working on this classic blues riff. Make sure to play it along with the recording. Whenever I'm learning a solo, I always practice with the recording to cop the feel and the phrasing and the dynamics. And there's just so much we can learn by imitating what we're hearing on the records. Before you go, don't forget to get your free PDF. That's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. Now you can buy the book on the iTunes bookstore for $15 if you want to support me, or you can get it for free in the link below. Thanks for your support and we'll see you soon.